So one of the things that I expect to work whenever I'm using my computer is the ability to open a file directly from a file manager. Uh, sort of like so, when you open your file manager, you should be able to navigate around your files, find a file that you're looking for, and just open it right then and there, and there we go, it works. Awesome. Now, the reason that you want this to work like this is, of course, you're going to organize your files, or at least I organize my files, uh, according to the project. And of course, many different projects will have many different kinds of files. And so having them all in one place and then being able to open the file in whatever respective program it belongs to is sort of important. And so this works flawlessly on Windows with Windows apps. It works you know, really good on Linux with Linux apps, but one of the places it does not work very well in is running Windows apps on Linux. Yeah, so uh, with Linux, of course, we have Wine, which allows us to run these Windows programs underneath Linux and at least get them to function in a basic sense. But some of these integrations with the desktop are not always all there but I have a sort of manual setup here that will allow this to work with at least some uh, Windows apps running underneath Wine. And to show you a, a little demo here, I, I got this working with FL Studio. Um, and this is an FLP file, which uh, is the, the basic file type of FL Studio. And as you can see, I double clicked the file and it is opening in FL Studio. And it just you know takes a little while here so because there we go so there it is open the file correctly so how do we do this so i install my wine programs now using an app called bottles um, if you haven't heard of it i highly recommend it uh, it's essentially a front end to wine that allows a lot easier installation um, and you know you can install it. Uh, there's a flat pack for it, and I think that's actually the only officially distributed uh, form of bottles. Um, I actually have it installed uh, natively. Uh, running, I'm running NixOS, and there's a native package for it. Um, but in any case, once you install bottles and you set up your uh, wine uh, prefix and your wine, uh, you know, set up here, and you install your app, you'll have uh, a bottle for your app. Mine here is just FL Studio, and uh, inside of it, uh, I have the the app I can run. Uh, FL64 is the name of the, the command line app, essentially. And so from here, in order to get it working, where we can just click it uh, in, a, in a file manager and have it um, run, one of the first things that you uh, would probably uh, try doing is adding a shortcut, but uh, this is too much of a shortcut and doesn't always work in all the cases. So we're going to actually go about this a different way. So the first thing that I did to start get this working is I made a command line wrapper for the FL Studio program. So what do I mean by command line wrapper? Uh, it means that I can open up a terminal and I can launch FL Studio with an FL Studio command. Now this command is not the FL Studio program itself, it is just a shell script that calls FL Studio. Um, and so if I run this, we'll see it uh, go through here and then open FL Studio like so. And I have also set up the script so that if I go and provide it with an argument, uh, like for example, I have my, my sample file here, I can run FL Studio and then pass in a file name and it should open that file as well. So this is a, a, a command line wrapper that allows us to just launch the program just like any other uh, program pretty much. So how do I set this up? Now on a normal Linux system, uh, the proper way to do this would be to go to dot local uh, oops, slash bin and create uh, your script there. So that would be something like 
um, FL Studio, like that. Um, you'd write your script in here, um, you know, or whatever. Um, now I'm not running a normal system. I'm uh, running NixOS, uh, so I'm kind of one of those weirdos, you know. Uh, so my my script actually isn't here, but but if you're running like Arch or Ubuntu or Mint or whatever you're running, um, like a normal uh, system, um, you would create your script there. Oops. And uh, you know, of course, make it executable and uh, you know source it in your path and stuff like that, all that stuff, which um, you can look up a guide on that elsewhere uh, if you need to. But the contents of the script, uh, I will show you uh, here. So I have it right here. Uh, this is a Nix file. Don't be, uh, don't be too scared of it. Uh, the important part here that we're concerned with is this section right here. So um, this essentially makes a shell script called FL Studio, and then this is what the script is. That's really all that's going on here. Uh, so what is going on here? Well, first, we're going to test if there is an argument, or well, we're testing if there isn't an argument, actually. Um, and uh, here is the command that we can use. Uh, Bottles-CLI run, um, dash B selects the bottle name, so in, in this case here, this is uh, essentially referencing the name of the bottle, which I, na I named it FL Studio. Uh, remember here, this is the name of the bottle, FL Studio. Um, and then what we're going to do next is run dash P FL 64. So that would be the name of the actual command line program that gets uh, installed here. So go back to your bottle. There it is, FL64. So this is the case of you're not providing it with a command line argument. You just want to open the app, essentially. Um, if, you're, if you have bottles installed natively, this would be the command to run. If you have it installed as a flat pack, uh, there's this uh, equivalent sort of form here uh, where you're running it uh, in the flat pack. So flat pack run dash dash command equals bottles dash CLI, blah, 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 blah. That's the flat pack name. And then you're running essentially the same thing uh, there like that. Now, the interesting part here comes in in the case where you want to run the program, you want to run the wrapper, but provide it with a file. And this is actually the important piece that allows us to open the file directly from the file browser or directly from the command line or wherever else we want to open it. So in here, we uh, I create a, a variable called file path, and um, this uses a program called wine path. And you'll need wine installed for this, of course, to get it to run. And we add the argument or the uh, flag uh, dash dash windows. So what it's telling it is, okay, calculate the file path of the file provided if we were running underneath windows. So it'll it'll be able to pass this. You, you can see to the actual um, program. And so we don't really need this echo line here technically, but um, it's just there to for debugging. And then we can run this uh, by passing the same, using the same bottles command, bottles CLI, but at the end we pass dash dash args, and then we pass the file path in here. Now, in order to get this to run nicely with file names that have spaces, we actually have to escape and add some single quotes here because that's how Windows uh, handles things uh, usually. Uh, you got to have the single quotes. The only downside being here is if you have some single quotes in the name of your file, this is going to break, but uh, you shouldn't really be having single quotes in the name of your files anyways. So that's that. And so uh, with this here, when you run the actual shell script, it will behave uh, like a normal CLI program, like opening, uh, you know, if I, if I were to open, you know, LibreOffice and then pass in a file name, we'd expect the, it to open the file. This will do the exact same thing equivalently, but with your Wine app of choice. So that's sort of the, uh, the difficult part here. Um, there's one more part here that we're gonna have to do to actually get this to work with 
uh, GUI apps, like a GUI file manager, like uh, I, I had uh, Nautilus open here. We, we have one more step to do here, uh, and that is to create a custom desktop entry. And so um, in, in Nix, I, I set it up right here like this. Um, so if you happen to be using Nix OS, it would be something like this. You uh, pass in you know, the name, the desktop name you want to appear, um, what you want to ex uh, execute. So this would be the command line wrapper and then percent %u um, and such and such. Um, but if you're trying to implement this on like Arch or Mint or anything that's not NixOS, um, you would essentially create the uh, desktop, dot desktop file in your uh, user slash share slash appl applications folder or um, equivalently. Um, and so just to show you what this will actually look like uh, when you when it's made, um, it's going to look something like this. So uh, share applications and then I have flstudio.desktop. This is what it should end up looking like. So if you're creating the file manually, it'll be something like this. So you'll have your exec equals and then put in the name of it. The percent %u, it really is important. Uh, it won't work without the percent %u. I'm, I'm pretty sure that just tells it to uh, pass in a file if you know requested. Um, so it is required there. And then uh, sort of similarly here, if you don't know the MIME type of it, um, you don't worry, you don't really need to know it at just yet. Um, because once you have the desktop entry in there, you'll you should it should appear in your uh, apps and like, you know, I can run it from here sort of like that no icon yet, if you want to add an icon in later, you totally can. Um, but from this point, uh, what you can do is Assuming everything is properly uh, made here, you can go to your file manager, go to your uh, file type of choice. Uh, whoops, wrong one here. Uh, and in most of them, you'll there'll be like an open with, uh, you know, option, and then you can actually search for it, and you should find it in here based on the desktop entry that you made. And as soon as you do that, once you uh, set it as the default app, which I'm doing it here in Nautilus. It'll probably work equivalently, I think, in like Dolphin and all the other file managers. Once you do that, uh, you actually can go find the proper mime, mime type of the uh, file type that you're using, and that will actually appear in .config slash mime apps dot list. Um, so as you can see here, um, FLP files happen to be a mime type of application slash octet stream. And so if you wanted to then go back and uh, add in the proper, uh, you know, mime type to your desktop entry, you could, of course, uh, go in and add that. Once you know the proper mime type, you can add that in there. And at this point, it should be, you know, working as expected. Uh, you, you now can launch the wine app from, you know, by clicking a file of the file type in the file manager. And then if you're like me and you prefer using, you know, TUI based, uh, you know, file managers like Ranger, or if you want to be able to open your uh, uh, files from some other method, you also have the command line wrapper, which will allow you to be you know, much more versatile with this than just having a desktop entry that sort of kind of works. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you learned something and I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you thought this was good, please leave me a, a like, uh, a comment, let me know what you thought of it. Um, and if you disliked it, just leave a dislike and maybe let me know what you didn't really like about it. Have a good rest of your day.